Wind turbines divide opinion like few other renewable technologies, but one issue, their visual impact, can be solved by siting the turbines far from land in the sea. The UK has the most ambitious plans in the world for offshore wind, potentially powering 26 million homes by 2030. But that will depend on the price. Electricity from offshore turbines currently costs much more than electricity from onshore ones. The next big rollout could see about 7,000 huge turbines erected in the sea with a price tag of £90 billion. But with the help of a tin can, a straw and a fish tank, I'm hoping to show you how a new technology works that could cut £5 billion from that bill. Conventional foundations are either huge steel rods driven into the seabed or a steel pylon fixed to the sea floor. But both of these use a lot of expensive steel and need big, expensive ships to set them up. The new idea uses the sandy sediment of the seafloor itself as a foundation, thanks to a nifty but rather unglamorously named suction bucket technology. This is a model of what it looks like, but how does it work? At this point, I'm lucky to have an assistant. This is Phil de Villiers, Head of Offshore Wind at the Carbon Trust. Welcome, Phil, Hi, and thank, thank you, you very much for coming. Now, first of all, you need a giant steel bucket, which in reality would be 16 metres in diameter, but is handily replicated here by a tin can. To the bottom of this, you attach a suction pump, in our case, the straw and fill, uh, and you lower the bucket upside down into the water. Now, as the bucket reaches the sea floor, it's actually quite hard to drive into the sand until we apply some suction. Take it away, Phil. Now what is happening is that the water is being drawn through the sand and into the bucket, flowing past the rim of the bucket. That means at the rim there was a quicksand was created, so the bucket slid down into the sand really easily. Once it's in place, we can stop the suction, so thank you very much again, Phil. Now, what's really impressive is that we've sunk our mini foundation by suction alone, whereas in reality, gravity would be helping thanks to the hundreds of tonnes of steel and the weight of the water column above. It's really hard to pull the can out. I'm just going to have a go at that. It really is quite well stuck. And that's just like how it can be very hard to pull your buried feet out from wet sand on the beach. And it's because you're trying to create a vacuum below your foot, or in this case, below the bucket. These suction bucket foundations are just as strong as the conventional alternatives, but can be towed out to sea by a tug and installed in much worse weather. They also use less steel, making it cheaper all round. At the time we published this video on our website, the very first large-scale suction bucket foundations are sailing from Belfast out to a site at Dogger Bank in the North Sea. By March, all being well, 100 metre tall meteorology masts will be in place upon them. If the thousands of wind turbines set to follow them also use these suction buckets, it could save the developers, and us as energy bill payers, quite a packet.